Chapter 3, Lesson 1, Essential Question. How can you describe the relationship between two decimal place value positions? For this investigation, you need three different colored pencils and a straight edge or ruler. Thousandths are smaller parts than hundredths. If one hundredth is divided into ten equal parts, each part is one thousandth. That is a vocabulary word for this lesson, thousandths. Use the model at the right to show tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. You will walk through this with me, and this is the model at the right. Right now we are only using the bigger square. It says, divide the larger square into 10 equal columns or rectangles. Columns go vertically up and down. Shade one rectangle. Do that. Press pause. You should have filled in one rectangle, vertical rectangle. Now they want you to answer the question, what part of the whole is the shaded rectangle? What part? Well, it's one out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is one tenth. They want you to also write that as a decimal and a fraction. So one tenth, the decimal that is the same as one tenth, is zero decimal one. We will not say point one. We will always say decimal one. The next step, they said to divide each rectangle into ten equal squares and use a second color to shade in one of the squares. To divide it into ten equal squares, they're meaning each little rectangle, so that'll be like this, adding in horizontal lines throughout the whole thing. Press pause and do so. If you can, try to answer the question, what part of the whole is the shaded square, and write it as a decimal and a fraction. What part of the whole is the shaded square? This little square, if you counted them all up, would be 1 of 100. And they want us to write that as a decimal and a fraction. Well, fraction-wise, I know it's 1 one hundredth. So in decimal-wise, I need to have a 0, a decimal. It is not a tenth, so a 0 and a 1 for 1 one hundredth. Now we're going to be working on our new place value within the decimals. Divide the enlarged hundredth square into ten equal columns or rectangles. That's this square right here. These little lines show that they're enlarging this little square. If each hundredth square is divided into ten equal rectangles, how many parts will the model have? So if each of these little squares were divided into 10, how many parts would it have? So if you think about it, there is 10 here and 100 little squares. So 10 times 100 equals 1,000 parts. So now we need to use a third color to shade one rectangle of the enlarged hundred squares. And then answer the question, what part of the whole is the shaded rectangle? Write that part as a decimal and a fraction. Press pause and do so. I shaded mine blue right here. 
So what part of the whole is the shaded fraction? And when it's talking about the whole, it's meaning this whole. So it is 1 out of 1,000. And as a decimal, that would be zero decimal, no tenths, no hundredths, and one one thousandth. Turn your page over, draw conclusions. Explain what each shaded part of your model in the investigation section shows. Shaded part, the ones that you colored. What fraction can you write that relates each shaded part to the next greater shaded part? So there's two different things to hear, do here. There's to explain and then to say a what fraction you can use to relate them. The model shows one-tenth, the first rectangle that we shaded, one one-hundredth, one square, and one one thousandth, this little rectangle within the hundredth square. And each shaded, par shaded part is blank of the next larger shaded part. What fraction can you use? Well, every time we went to color something, we created how many more rows or columns? Ten. So we can say that each shaded part is one tenth of the next larger shaded part. Identify and describe a part of your model that shows one thousandth and explain how you know. One of the ten rectangles within the enlarged hundredth square shows one one thousandth. That's the third one you colored. If each hundredth was divided into 10 equal parts, I would have 10 times 100 equaling 1,000 parts. Each rectangle is 1 1,000th one of the whole. The smaller rectangle, the third one you colored, is 1 1,000th one of the whole. Make connections. The relationship of a digit in a different place value position is the same with decimals as it is with whole numbers. You can use your understanding of place value patterns and a place value chart to write decimals that are 10 times as much or one tenth of any given decimal. So answering these questions right here to the right using this place value chart right here we are going to say what is 10 times as much as 400 they're asking right here, 10 times as much of 4 hundredths, that is 4 tenths, which you write as decimal 4. And then if you want 1 tenth of 4 hundredths, it's to the right, so this is 1 tenth of 4 hundredths, 1 Decimal place to the right is decimal zero zero four thousandths. So use the steps below to complete the table. Step one, write the given decimal in a place value chart. Right here we have three given decimals. This is three hundredths, one tenths, and seven hundredths. Step two. Use the place value chart to write a decimal that is 10 times as much as the given decimal. Press pause and fill those in. You should have written that 10 times as much of 3 hundredths is 3 tenths. 10 times as much of 1 tenth is 1 whole. And 10 times as much of 7 hundredths is seven tenths. That's step two. Step three now says to use the place value chart to write a decimal that is one tenth of the given decimal. So we're still working with the 
given decimal, but filling in one-tenth. And remember that the thousandths is one-tenth of hundreds. So if it's to the right on the place value chart, it is one-tenth of the place value to its left. So one-tenth of three hundredths is three thousandths. One-tenth of one-tenth is one-hundredth. And one-tenth of seven-hundredths is seven-thousandths. Keep your prism on yellow and work through the share and show problems. That is this entire page, including the tables. Press pause while you work. Keep your prism on yellow. Press play when you are ready to check answers. Just to clarify where I got my answers, looking at number two, it's 398 thousandths. The three is in the tenths place. There's one, two, three full vertical columns, and then nine hundredths. There is nine little squares, hundredth squares, and then eight of the thousandths rectangles, so 398 thousandths. On number four, I'm looking at 99 hundredths because all but one hundredth square is shaded. No thousandths, so I didn't even put anything at the end. If you did want to write a zero for thousandths, it would still be considered correct. Continue on to check the bottom part of Share and Show. While checking, make sure that your decimal is be able to be easily seen and that it's not just a light dark a light dot of pencil lead. If you got 100% on share and show, you may move on to on your own. If you missed any of 1 through 8, watch the lesson again. When you have finished watching the lesson a second time, try again. If you are still confused, you may turn your prism to red to indicate that you need more help.